Welcome back, my hatchlings, to Pokemon Soul Silver and Random Lock versus Black Jesus Priest. If you remember last time, we captured this little guy, uh, kitten, kitten, mittens. Oh, we can play later, okay? And we also caught a uh, Crawdon, which I forgot it's not with us. I left it in the PC. But we got some training done, and today we're gonna get Sprout Tower done with, and probably the gym. Alright, so let's go ahead and fight the first trainer. However hard we battle, the tower will stand strong. Good to know. Anyways, pretty much all these battles, they all have bell sprouts. And if I was if I was to use that too, we could just peck our way through here. But I think I'm gonna let Mittens fight this first trainer. Oh wow, I could <clears throat> oh, my voice, I could just win a KO and tackle him, so that's even easier. Some experience. Bell sprout. Also, next episode is episode five, and I will have Black Jesus Priest guest starring on the episode. So make sure you watch episode five, and make sure to go to his channel to watch his episode five, where I guest star on his. We'll be doing that every five episodes, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and so on, all the way till we are done with the series. It'll be interesting, we can talk about our teams, you might... I don't know, it'll be interesting. We recorded his episode 5 last night, so it should be up on his channel very soon. It's probably up if this video's up. So... A paralysis heal. Cool. Let's go, Mittens. I love having a little skitty follow me around, it's so cute. We stand guard in this tower. Here, we expressed our gratitude to show our respect for all hope. Gotta fight all these monks. What are they called? Sage. Sages. Pretty much monks. But they fight. Fighting monks. <clears throat> I could get him into level 12 before we get to the boss of this tower, and then I could probably use Xana. And I really want to fight the gym in this episode, but I might save that for next episode. If I save it for next episode, that would be no. Um, yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. I was gonna say I'd be at the same place as Mr. or I mean Black Jesus Priest, but I wouldn't. Because he's gonna be fighting the gym leader on his episode 6. Ooh, scene. I was wondering if you were gonna get that. Uh, oh yeah, uh, mittens are in the track. We're gonna get rid of Tail Whip. Tail Whip's not a bad move, he gets a lower defense, but this thing's very helpful, especially for catching Pokemon. There is a dog running up. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Right, I want to get Mittens to level 12, which should be very easy. And then Cucumber is like probably one experience away from level 13. X Accuracy? Oh, called it. Called it. Of course, I was watching Black Jets Priest go through here last night, so. Whoa! 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 What are you doing for alligator? You don't belong here. Get out of here. Ah, uh, squeeze you. Alright. Take you down with tackle. Should be for some good experience. 90. Okay. It's not bad. I, I find that everything levels up so easy. Oh, I thought it froze. I was like, God dang. I should probably save right after this battle. Right now, I experienced a little lag right there. I was like, oh. I also found last episode that I had like a small little lag like that, and it totally screwed up my audio for the entire video, so I had to do some audio editing. I'm guessing that probably happened again right there, so I'll have to do that in some more. But, uh, you might notice sometimes that my audio is a little bit out of sync, usually by like a second. And I do my best to fix those kind of mistakes, and most of the time they do get fixed. So, if you hear audio in my videos that are perfectly synced, then that's probably me working my magic, and it's actually kind of hard work trying to get audio perfectly synced sometimes. It's pretty easy in Pokemon games though, so. Especially if you're like me, who's been playing them since I was five, so I'm pretty accurate for our sounds, you know. Come on, level up. 
Yes, level 12. Oh man, this is doing really good. Thank you, Sage. Alright, so let's save really quick. We're an hour and 58 minutes in to the game. Cool. Don't have that much footage, but a lot of it's off screen training and stuff, so. And we haven't got a death yet, and I don't think. I don't know when we'll get a death, honestly. Like, we're pretty. We're doing really good. But let's go ahead and. Put Xana up first. <clears throat> a potion. Alright. So, oh gosh, wild Pokemon. Just a remoraid, it's all good. I train to find enlightenment in Pokemon. That was supposed like level 7, 6, 6. Easy stuff for Xana. Pet. <clears throat> little squirt made me hurt. Is that what he said? <laughs> Only saw part of that. The Elder Team lights even pitch black darkness. Well, my emulator likes to screw up the dark, so it's all good. Heck. Zatu is such a cool Pokemon. I've never, I'm pretty sure I used one in Emerald at one time, but I don't even know if that's true. But it's such a cool, it's a flying and psychic type. And it's, I don't know, it's, I think it's a really underrated Pokemon in my opinion. Like, to me, it's, it seems like totally underused. It seems to be like a very good Pokemon so far, so. Of course it should be a Natu at this point, but whatever. I appreciate my level 11 statue. A poo -poo. I'm gonna fight Hoo Hoo with Cucumber, just because I want Cucumber to level up already. Oh, our cute little Chikorita. You know, I, I said in the very beginning of the series that I really don't like Chikorita, but I'm. It's really growing on me. I'm really loving Chikorita so far. And I, if you watched my Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke Randomizer, I had a Chikorita. I caught it like level 16. It evolved into Bayleaf like after one level, of course, and it sucked. And I think that's what really like made me hate it. But now that I'm actually using it from the start, I'm liking it. And I hear good things about it being a really good tank when it's a Meganium. So that will be good for this series. So a lot of people say it hardly dies too. So for Nuzlocke, I think we're gonna have Cucumber for a very long time, which I really hope we do. Cause it's our starter, man. We gotta, we gotta love Cucumber. We gotta get her, get him to the end. Also, always imagine Chikorita as a girl. <laughs> this one's a boy, so it's kind of awkward. For me. The only girl on our team is Mittens. So. Level up. It is not far to the elder. Alright, you wanna go in first, Satchu? Alright, I'm gonna take that as the- Oh, whoa! Who's that? Looks kinda of familiar. You showed us what you've got, and it is indeed good! Take this technical machine. However, you should care more about your Pokemon. The way you treat your Pokemon can be too harsh. Remember, Pokemon are not tools of war. Pokemon conquest. <coughs> huh? He calls himself the Elder, but he was no match for me. Sure enough, 
those who lecture how you should be nice to Pokemon, they cannot defeat me. All I care about are strong Pokemon that win every time. The rest of them don't mean anything to me. What a dick. <laughs> There's an item over here. Scaparopa. Alright. So good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People and Pokemon test their bonds to build a bright future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between you and your Pokemon! This is the second time I've had to do his voice acting since I did it in Black Jesus Pieces episode 5. It kind of amused me. It's the second time I've done like 12 hours. <laughs> Alright, let's take out this Bell Sprout attack. I want to get Xanar to level 12. Normal? It is part normal. Huh. I didn't know that. Alright, let's use the pack. Yeah, you better miss. If I have an ability that makes me wake up soon. Oh. Wake up, Santa. Okay, imagine we wake up the next turn. Yep. I love that ability. Oh, critical hit, too. Just to make sure it was down. Level up! Yeah! Santa level 12. Lucky chant? What does that do? They use their chants on incantation toward the sky to bend the foe from the critical hits. Yeah, why not? It's hard. I hope he. I guess that's actually really good. Um, if you watched <laughs> uh, my battle against Lieutenant Surge and Pokemon Fire Red, oh my God, that Raichu got two critical hits on me in a row and just took out my honor. I was so pissed, so pissed. There was like a minute of silence in that video where I just didn't even speak because I was so angry. So that could be a good move against gym leaders. So. Definitely gonna keep that. Mmm, the way you battle is quite elegant. You should be able to stand with the Falconer. And you should be able to make good use of this. It's a TM called Flash. Take it with you. So we could basically light up caves or lower people's accuracy. You can try it on Bellsprout. Alright. Um, I guess we'll use our escape rope and get out of here. So if I wanna. I want my Zatu to send beside me so we can watch him spin with us. Okay. Oh, there we go. I forgot how to open my bag. So. <laughs> I can't open this bag. How does zippers work? Oh no, I'm so confused. That's basically what happened. And it's daytime. We were in there for a long time, guys. Alright, so let's go heal. So I'm gonna make a transition here. Patch, howdy! It's Joey! How are you? Oh yeah, I saw Wild Pidgey! I thought about going for it, just like that hoo hoo last night, but I failed, because I suck. Oh well, I guess that's the way it goes. I'm not very good at catching Pokemon or doing anything that's influential to children. <sighs> I need to get some like cooler people in my contacts, like, really. Alright, so now that we're back, let's go ahead and put mittens up first. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna do the gym this episode. Let's do it, why not? This is the gym, I believe. Let's go in. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, so there's two gym or two trainers, yeah. Okay, it's fine. I can't believe how ridiculous high this is, but from here you can tell what it feels like to be a bird Pokemon. Let's see if you're good enough to fight them. Look, uh, look how dangerous this is. We could totally just fall off and die. There should be like a trampoline on the bottom or something. Or some type of mattress. Anyways, let's take out the spear. Oh, I didn't think 
can survive that. Way. Mittens should be learning double slap pretty soon. Not sure what level. Spam, bam. Like spam, let's try. It's really cool. Take that, Abe. This can't be true. Especially on the side over here. You could also really skip these battles if you want, but I prefer to fight them. Ho ho! Do some kind of big shot? We'll see what happens if you get pushed around up here. Think of stat. Wow! You are dangerous. He's just like, I'm gonna push you. I hate you. I defeated Abe. My name's Rod. Rod and Abe. Look at my balls spin. Ho oh. ho Okay, let's try this again. Okay, my balls didn't go spinning this time. He has a Pidgey. You think you're a big shot for little Pidgey? I don't think so. Kicking it out. Squeeze your Pidgey. Flinch. Take out Tackle. Come on, minions. Good job, girl. Give him his level 13. That would be really good. But I doubt it. Actually, no, it could happen. He has three Pokemon. I think that could happen. <clears throat> awesome. Oh no, he has two. I miscounted. Alright. So I'm gonna save really quick. And then we're going to take on Faulkner. Ooh, Dink. What are his levels? Alright, I'm going to check on, on his levels really quick. Okay, so... His Pokemon are level 9 and 13. Um... I honestly don't think I'm ready for him. So, next... No, no, let's, let's go for it. I think we can take them. I think we honestly can. I'm just gonna go with Mittens. Let's go. I'm Falconer, the Violet City Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can clip flying type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. Wait, wasn't this a small building? How is there a tower? What, whatever. Oh, <laughs> look what I do with my hands. Pidgey, yeah! Alright. I believe we can win this. Good start. Good start. Oh, uh, bad mid part. Ah, <laughs> uh, you will lower my accuracy. Good job, man. Keep mittens in here actually, because I have a plan. Okay, it is a boy. Wind is fine. Alright, if I could hit it for track, that would be really good. Yes. Nice, nice. Alright, mittens. Perfect. 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 <laughs> oh, now I have two. But now I have two possible titles. I was gonna go with two birds, one stone. Now I have perfect as a option. You're asleep and in love. You better be dreaming about me. All right. Now the only problem is I got hit with sand attack. So now here's the annoying thing about his Pidgeotto. It knows Roost, and at a certain point, that's all he uses, and it's annoying. See, there it is. He just uses boost and it's annoying. Does he? He's like, oh, potions? Nah, I don't need those. I don't want to risk losing. Oh, not Pokeballs. Actually, I need to buy some of those before I forget. Alright, man, here we go. 
Cannot lose me, because I'd be very upset. Okay, good, good. You sing again. If I could get Sing in and he could stay asleep for like three to five turns and I could get tackles on every turn, I might be able to defeat him. Especially if I get a critical. Alright, and here we go. Tackle. There's one critical hit. Oh, that was good. Please don't wake up. Ah, oh, come on, Mittens. Open your eyes. Actually, your eyes are closed. Maybe that's your problem. Mittens, open your eyes and see. We can still fly. That sounds very unsafe. Alright, I want to use C. Do not use Roost. Okay, that's... I also should have said don't use Gust. Oh, you would! Ah. See, this is what I hate about Falconer. He just spams Roost and it's so annoying. Come on, how does Sing miss? How are you not in love with me anymore? You are ruining our relationship. Oh my god, man. Come on. I'm, I'm like determined to win this with mittens. The first time I played Soul Silver, I spent like 10 minutes fighting Falconer because I could not get him to die because he kept using Roost and I only had Cyndaquil. Finally. There we go. God. It's like the only time I can hit him with Seeing is when he's immobilized by love. Should I get these tackles in here? Oh, should I get some fake out again? Run. Mittens! You are ruining this! Oh my god. No more. You're out of here. Get out of here, Mittens. I am mad with you. I'm not gonna do this. Alright, Xana. Him, how it's done. Can't use Nightshade because it's normal for it, by the way. I'll hopefully, get in some good pecs. Ah, see, now, now I'm going to be in the situation where he just spans Roost, and all I have is Peck. I think Mittens is honestly our best choice. How annoying is that? Get like hit or three. <laughs> now watch, I'm gonna hit him with Peck and he's gonna use Roost. Eventually. Oh god. I got him, I got him, I'm good, I'm good. Understand, I'll bow out. I don't care. All right. Oh, we won. For pity's sake, my dad cherished bird Pokemon. They're not even yours. But a defeat is defeat. All right. Take this official Pokemon League badge. This one is the Zypher badge. Woo! Yeah, I got the Zypher badge. Train up to level 20. Also, keeps Rock Smash anytime in a battle. He gives us Roost, I believe. Yep. Go to Azalea Town. Alright, let's save. Before bad things happen. Save you, do not turn off the power. Mittens, you did good. But not good enough for <laughs> your friggin' accuracy. I guess. It's not entirely your fault. You got hit with sand attack, but good job. Oh, 
And let's go see our other combatants, see what they have to say about our gym battle. That's good. Alright, thank you guys for watching. This is a pretty long episode, so definitely gonna have to cut it off right now. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Good job, Crunch. You got this. Thou art I, I art thou. Establish a new bond with the flying persona. We have to use a rage on him. Don't hit me. No, I can't use rage now. Wait, I can. Follow me on Twitter. <laughs>